With a multi-step form built with the WP Forms plugin, if a user selects a radio button, they also have to select this next button to go on to the next step. So radio button and then next. How much more awesome would the UI be if the user just had to select the radio button and boom, they automatically went on to the next step? Well, I'm gonna show you how to set that up just as I've done here in WP Forms. Check out this variation. We had a radio button option, you select the next step or you select the radio button and you go on to the next step. So radio button select on the next step automatically. And if you select previous, well, you can see that the um, previous entry for the radio button was automatically there. But big thing to take away is radio button automatically will send you on to the next step. I'm gonna show you how to set this up. This is done with WP Forms. And to do the multi-step forms in WP Forms, you do need to pay for the plugin. Uh, so you need the basic option here. And pretty much all of the WordPress form builders out there that do multi-step forms basically require you to pay for the multi-step form functionality. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you how to set up this auto advanced functionality in WP Forms. Here we go. I'm in my WordPress admin area and at this point I've already installed WP Forms and created my form. I've also set the form up on a page, which you can see here. And if you're curious how I made this page, it's just simply done through Thrive Architect, a background section, then a content box. Uh, you go to borders and corners, apply rounded corner, and then I also set a white background for my content box. And that creates a simple page here. And I've had incredibly good success uh, driving conversions. I've increased my conversions, should I say, using this style of contact form, which is just, just basically a full page contact form or whatever you want to call it. So the first thing we're going to do though to get that auto advanced set up is come to plugins and add new. We need to add a plugin for the JavaScript that's going to make that auto advance happen. Uh, and I believe what we call it is simple custom CSS and JavaScript. I'm just going to search simple custom CSS. Let it search and it should find the one I'm looking for. You could use probably any of these. Well, I guess not any of them. You need the JavaScript, but this one in particular right here. So look for this thumbnail right here and then install now and then wait for it to install. So it's installed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate it and it should show up in my sidebar soon enough. TikTok. There we go. Okay, so now we got the plugin installed right here. And now what we want to do is add some JavaScript code. So add custom JavaScript. And here is the code that we want to add. And, uh, you know, if you're watching this on a video player or something, look for a link somewhere around the video player to my website where I'm going to make this code available. So you can just come right in and copy and paste it yourself. So once you get it, copy it. And then we're going to want to paste it in here. And I like just selecting all and pasting right over, right? Now there's a couple things we'll need to do from here. Number one, what we're going to do is put in the actual WordPress form ID. So, or that's WP form, I should say. Uh, so we're going to come back to our WP forms. I'm going to open this in a new tab and then go to all forms. And right here, WP Forms ID equals 6997. So we need to put that in. Now, um, you know, your character count for that ID might be longer. It might be shorter. Most of mine have been four characters. I think one time I did see it five, but maybe I'm misremembering from another plugin, contact form plugin I was working with. We need to put 6997 right there in place of those numbers, right? And then publish it. All right, simple enough. The next thing we need to do, I guess before we do the next thing, give it a title. I'm just gonna call it uh, WP Forms Auto Advance. And then I'm gonna put that number in there, 6997. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to add this line right here of the jQuery code to the CSS. So WP Forms underscore radio underscore next, right? So we're gonna copy this not the decimal or the period. You don't need that, just the plain, or not the plain text, but just the text 
not the period. I don't know how else to say that, right? So copy that and then let's go into our form. So I'm already in WP forms right here in this tab. And then we're gonna come here and we are going to edit this one. Wait for it to load. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to select the fields that are radio questions, right? So this needs to be a radio. So uh, let me just show you guys how to add the field real quick. If you haven't done this already, what we wanna do is look for, what is it? Multiple choice, ah, I think it's multiple choice. Yeah, it's multiple choice. Sorry that I was calling it radio um, buttons all the time, but it's multiple choice is what they call it in WP forms and some of the other contact form plugins, they call it radio button. So multiple choice. So take your multiple choice uh, questions that are on there. So select them. So you're editing them here and then come into advanced options. And where it says CSS classes, we're going to paste what we just copied that WP forms underscore radio underscore next. And then we're gonna do that for all of the ones that we want to go on or that we wanna auto advance. There's two and then I've only got three questions on here. Right there. So now we're gonna save it and after it saves, it should work in here. So first thing I'm gonna do though is real quick if I can, I'm gonna purge my cache Caching plugins cause all kinds of problems when you're developing. So you either disable them or purge the cache. I'm gonna do that um, and since I'm paranoid, refresh the page. And at this point, when I select it, it should go on and it did just as you see right there. So I'm gonna again, I'll demonstrate that again, just so I, I'm sure that it's working. Yep, click previous, change my answer, yep. It's working, the audio auto advance is working. That is how you set up auto advance to next step from multi-step contact form in WP forms. Now, if you like this insight and you like more other WordPress insight and you wanna see some of my marketing experiments, because I do share insights from some of the experience where I spend thousands of dollars testing things, um, look for the subscribe button on my channel. At least click the like button on this video. Please just click the like button if you got value out of this video and you're gonna implement this yourself. Uh, otherwise, look for the subscribe button and then there's my Facebook group. I call it No Bullshit Marketing Facebook group. That's my Facebook group, guys. Join in there. I'll see you on the other side. I'm signing off on this one.